Hi, this is Chris Brown of TPR Tools. I'm going to continue my demonstration of traveling. Uh, hopefully I won't be too self-conscious or clumsy, but I'm going to just let you watch me. Uh, I'll use up the rest of this strip of paper and um, see what we've got. Now you can't, it's too difficult for me with my camera setup to actually show you what I'm seeing. So I've decided to just let you see the process of it. You'll have to believe me that what I'm doing is real. Okay, so first of all, let's start with this guy. I don't know if you can hear it, but this is traveling ever so slightly to the base. And when it gets to the top, You can hear it up there, but not down here. And you can see that as well, if you put the angle right. So, I'm going to put in one strip to the base. And remember, it's on the treble side when you're looking at the underside so that when you turn it around it tilts the hammer away from the base. Okay, let's see what we got. Perfect. Okay, this one, same thing, ever so slightly to the base. Okay, I'm going to put it on what appears to be the treble side from underneath, turn it around, it's on the base side to stop it traveling toward the base. Lovely. Okay, this one goes quite a lot to the base. Probably two strips worth. Okay, there's one. Two. Perfect. And that one's pretty good right the way it is, so I'm going to just carry on. Okay, this is two to the, to the base. If there are imperfections in this, and if it is very important to us, when we get done with traveling, we then do the squaring and the spacing, and then we can stick a long screwdriver or a uh, damp chaser rod or something, uh, the, the little things that suspend the humidification system, underneath the shanks and gang uh, travel them. And that is very sensitive if everything is basically vertical. Okay. Two to the base, if my memory is correct. There's one, and 
two. You can imagine that if you're not doing it in front of a camera, your concentration is better, your rhythm is better. There we go. And you can really move through a set of shanks very quickly. And when you get done, it's right. You don't have to decide which is right and which is wrong. This is going to be two and possibly three to the base. You just read what the uh, reference tells you, do what it tells you, and if uh, you're inexperienced, it will teach you how to travel uh, very quickly, and meanwhile, you will leave a professional job behind as you go. I'm kidding around here and that these aren't good. That the hammers are not square but you can still see the shanks. They are vertical and it didn't take me long to do it and I didn't have to decide which ones to do and which ones not to do. I just did them one after another. That's with the grand work scoring platform and Shank Traveler. Thank you very much.